What's going on everybody Hasib here and welcome to another high level video. In this video we are onboarding a real client. So the client we are working for is a solar company owner. Basically we are going to create a high level account for him using our own snapshot and let's see how it goes. So for that I am in my go high level agency account. Now I have to go to sub accounts, add sub account. So this is the first step of onboarding our client into high level basically we are just starting to create the high level account for our client now we are gonna select a blank snapshot I'm gonna install the snapshot later right now I'm just focused on creating the account so we are gonna create account manually let's uh, give it all the details so this is gonna be the clients information where this is gonna be the clients company information I'm gonna quickly fill this up so I have given all the information here now let's hit save there we go the account has been created now let's go to the account and uh, to go to the account I can either go here and click switch to sub account or we could also click here to switch and go from there so I'm gonna switch to sub account now the first thing we want to do is create the access for client we want uh, to create a login for the client to be able to log in to his account that we just created now for that we'll go to settings we'll go to my staff and we will add a new employee this will be the client's login we are creating now let me do that real quick as you can see I'm just gonna fill this up so I've filled up uh, all the information for the client and in this stage user permissions I'm just gonna take uh, all the things that I want the client to be able to see now I'm not taking off anything right now uh, so in the next step let's select user roles this will be a user not an admin definitely not an admin because an admin will be able to see all your sub accounts uh, call in voicemail settings nothing availability for now let's just make the user available every day calendar no calendar yet that's it save so I have created the clients login now the next step for us would be to get a phone number based on the location so for that we'll just go to resolve or you could just go to settings and come here to phone numbers without clicking on that resolve button uh, now as you can see there's no number so let's add a number we will give the area code for that let's do a Google search uh, Tampa Florida phone code if you don't know it like this will be the easiest way for you to get the phone number uh, area code now we will go to here and search and I'm gonna get a number it's safe there we go it has been created now what we will do is we will um, we are gonna forward this phone number to the company's phone so it when somebody makes call to this uh, the call is forwarded to the company's phone number and one really good benefit of forwarding this number to the company phone I'm gonna explain that in a few seconds once I forward this so let me get the number hit this pencil forward calls to this and I don't want call connect feature what I will do is I will enable call recording and I will say this call maybe recorded for quality purposes and you can give a timeout if you like I'm giving it 20 seconds update now the forwarding is done now the benefit if somebody calls the call is forwarded to the company phone this call is gonna be recorded so you can like for future reference you could refer to these recordings if the client says I want this recording or if the client says where, where are the lead information or stuff like that somebody somebody may claim that we are not getting leads then you could refer back to this uh, these recordings so for quality assurance or for future reference you could just keep these phone recordings now that's done let's move to our next step now on the next step you could just send an email to your client with all the login information saying that hey uh, Jonah I have created a login for you uh, to our CRM and here's the login details and you could just send them uh, to link to the app like uh, an iOS version and the Android version 
and if you do a Google search on a lead connector app you can find these two this is the Apple version and this is the Android version now you can just send these two links to your clients so he can download the app and log in and he can just communicate with his leads that will be coming into the system now this is the next step so that's also done now let's go to the next step which would be to install a snapshot like we have already created the account and that's completely blank as you can see there's nothing that's really nothing there now what we will do is we will install a solar snapshot in this account to do that we will go to agency view and we will go to sub accounts we will go to the account we just created which would be JDM let's click on this and uh, we will come here that says actions and we will click on load snapshot so let's go with uh, the snapshot over here and proceed copying the data so let's go to this account it this shouldn't take long usually it takes a minute all right now looking at the automations and sites so we could just say that the installation of the snapshot was complete you can see a bunch of funnels over here if we go to automations you can see a lot of automations a lot of workflows inside different folders now the next step for us would be to connect this account that we just created with the client website and by that i mean a checklist so the first thing would be to take the forms from here sites forms and so we will just create a form for the website and we would just embed the form into the website of the client now to do that let's uh, create a form now here so we will say we will just say and uh, we will just create this form like this let's take a button here that says submit and uh, we will just copy the color from the website for this button there we go pretty straightforward and we will just save this form integrate take this code go to the builder i'm using elementor for this client you could use any builder you want and remove this form as you can see this is a website existing form and i'm going to replace it with saying html i'm going to put it here somewhere all right there we go so the form has been integrated now one more thing we need to do is we will just go to automations and the snapshot we installed in there there should be a workflow that works for uh, that works as a follow-up campaign for the form uh, that we just put in the website to connect these two things we will just go to lead generation follow-up and we will just go to this it depends on the snapshot that you're installing so the one that I installed there it has this workflow and there will be different workflows based on the snapshot that you're installing into the account so let's say form submit we will just change it to JDM solar website form and let's see what that does in the main pipeline that creates a new lead that creates a contact tag don't need that just delete and we'll just say website contact form we already have a tag for that client notification let's say uh, let's see what it does don't need this thing we do need to assign it to a user and the user we know that the user we created uh, at the beginning of this video now opportunity assigned to user contact tag notification wait and then the follow-up starts 
Now this will be customized based on the custom values of this account, I mean the snapshot. So we don't have to do anything here. Uh, all we need to do after checking this workflow is go back, go to settings and go to custom values. In here we will just fill up all the information uh, according to this company's details and that's it we just uh, don't have to change anything inside the automation that's why custom values are there now the next thing we want to do is we want to go to sites we want to go to chat widget here's the chat widget we need to connect it with the website I mean the client website now to do that we could either copy this code paste it to the body section of the website. I don't want to do that. Instead, what I will do is I will go to plugins, go to add new, say lead connector, install. I will activate this plugin and uh, let's go to lead connector. I need to connect the high level account with this plugin by entering the API key here. Now, to find the API key, you need to go to settings and here under business niche, you will find the API key. Just copy that and I will come back to the website. After I have done that, I need to enable chat widget, pull and save. Now the chat widget will be displayed on the website. So let's revise what we have done so far. We have created the high level account. We have created a user access we have got number from Twilio forwarded this, uh, that number to the company phone and then we have installed a snapshot on this account we have connected the form for the website and we have embedded that form into the website for the client we have uh, set up the workflow for that form we have the chat widget if you want you can have multiple forms uh, in the website like uh, you could have a service form you could have a general contact form you could have a short form that only takes the phone uh, number email address like a squeeze form so you can do a bunch of things like that and once you do that you just go to automations and just connect that form to the workflow and we also a very important thing we have to update these custom values otherwise the workflows are not supposed to work uh, uh, how you want them to work like these are the values that will be replaced in the emails and SMS that are going out now this this is basically what we do when we onboard a client this is not that much of a time-consuming process if you just keep a checklist uh, and you just go one by one this is not gonna take that much time like for us usually it takes uh, 20 to 30 minutes based on the, the form the number of forms the number of custom values and the type of business these sort of things so yeah these are the things that we need to do when we onboard a client on a high level make sure you subscribe to this channel if you like the video and uh, I'll speak to you soon